Welcome to this brief introduction to the Cytoscape String App. As you may have already guessed from the name, Cytoscape String App is an app that brings the string database into the Cytoscape platform, thus allowing you to work with string networks inside Cytoscape. This is particularly useful if you're working with large networks or want to integrate other data with the networks to produce network-based visualizations. In this presentation, I assume that you're already familiar with the string database, and if not, I strongly recommend that you go watch the separate presentation on this topic first. Similarly, I assume that you're familiar with the basics of the Cytoscape platform, which have also been covered in an earlier presentation. String app enables you to query string using four different query types. The first is the protein query, which closely resembles the regular string search that you would do via the string web interface. That is, you provide a list of genes or proteins and we fetch a network. Alternatively, you can do a disease query, providing a disease of interest like Alzheimer's disease. And we use the diseases database to retrieve associated genes and fetch a network for the top end genes. Similarly, you can do a PubMed query, finding articles of interest, which we will text mine to identify the genes and proteins mentioned within, and then use an enrichment analysis to find out which genes and proteins are enriched in your articles of interest compared to the literature as a whole and fetch a network for the top end genes. Finally, you can do a protein compound query, searching for protein and or compound names, and we search the string and stitch databases to retrieve a network. The Stitch database is a sister resource to String, which extends String with small molecule compounds such as drugs and metabolites. When you search, you can adjust the network parameters. That is, you can choose the network type, functional associations or physical interactions, and set the confidence cutoff and the number of additional interactors to include in the network. However, all of these parameters can be changed later via the String app. When you get a network, it comes with a lot of data. This obviously includes the nodes themselves, their string identifiers, their human readable display names, and the query terms that match these nodes. It also includes the edges, that is the string confidence scores, and the subscores from individual evidence channels. However, String App provides much more than just a network. It also provides subcellular localization information for the proteins, retrieved from the compartments resource, tissue expression data from the tissues resource, and drug target information from the Illuminating the Druggable Genome project. String App also provides special visualization to give the network the string look. That is, we try to make the network look as it does in the string web interface. However, all of these options can be turned off if you want. That is, you can turn off string style labels to get normal cytoscape labels, you can turn off the string style colors, and you can turn off the structure images inside the nodes to get an even cleaner network. This is probably what you want to do if you want to visualize other data onto the network. This could, for example, be network data provided by String App itself, such as the drug target family, highlighting kinases and G protein coupled receptors in the network or mapping tissue expression data from a tissue of interest onto the network. That's all I want to say about String App this time. If you want to learn more about Cytoscape and String App, take a look at this presentation. Thanks for your attention.